Good day everyone, welcome to BST African Electronic Surgery. It's Saturday. Let's fix this laptop quickly. This is coming from uh, a, a solar company. Let me see the name of the company. We have a sticker here, Power Save Center. You can see this sticker, Power Save Center. This is a solar company laptop. So they send it here. The laptop came in as no display. So we have to fix this. Obvious, they are technician but specializing on solar equipment. So they opened the laptop trying to find out what is the problem. But the laptop did not display. So yeah, that's the battery. No screws. So we have to fix this. But before fixing this laptop, you remember our last video. Let's go back in time a little bit. Uh, you remember this video? This video, when I started this job of a uh, Dell Latitude 7280, which was blown up, and uh, I said, I said the laptop, I plug in the, 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 the charger, which was a 19 volts charger. I checked on main power rails and there was 12 volts. And I couldn't figure it out what was the problem. You know, if I done something, even if I fixed the device, and uh, I failed to recognize how the power sequence was actually distributed on that laptop that affected me a lot so let's go back in time and try to clear all the mistakes that i did on that last video let me look for the might marker so the first mistake that i did was to to fail to take note of the my microphone that video in the middle the microphone was misbehaving and i do apologize for that i'm aware of the microphone behavior i'm still trying to find a better microphone so the mistake that i did with the 19 volts the DC in, DC in, here, we're having like first MOSFET, which is a switch, the second MOSFET, M1, M2, those input MOSFETs, which will be in serial mode, passing 19 volts, in case of anything happen on the motherboard, they are cutting down the power, just to protect the, the wall circuit. So, after these two MOSFETs on that motherboard, I tried to look for the current sensor. I couldn't find one. Why? Because this MOSFET was passing 19 volts. These two MOSFETs were passing 19 volts. And after the second MOSFET, there was like, a, like two capacitors ceramic capacitors which were connected to 19 volts after the ceramic capacitors there was a coil here and this coil was 19 volts so after this coil there was this chip like in many laptops, we found the BQ chip here. There was the, the, the power controller management chip, which was here. What this chip was doing, I only found a chip, and I believe this chip, there was MOSFETs inside. And what this IC was doing was regulating 12 volts on the output on the output because on the output of this chip there was a current sensor 
which was 12 volts. And from this point, I tested on all ceramic capacitors on different power supplies, 3.3, 19 volts. Let me look for another match marker, 19 volts, 3.35 volts, and 1.5 for the rim, and other power supplies. I checked on the input of all these power supplies, there was 12 volts. 12 volts, 12 volts. So this, I think, has got the configuration for MacBooks. Like uh, after the two MOSFET, we have another switching power supply, which is uh, stepping down the 19 volts to 12 volts, which is being distributed to all the power supplies. So that was the issue. That was the issue. The current sensor wasn't after the two MOSFET. It was after this switching power supply, which was stepping down the 19 volts to 12 volts. So, yeah, different laptop, different schematics. Let's go back to our problem. So, we talked about uh, my mistakes, which I did on the last video, which I wasn't happy about. Now, we have to try to find out what this laptop is doing exactly. So, I'll plug the charger. And we have the charging light. You can see that charging light, orange light. And if I'm to power on the laptop, on this other side, we have that light. You can see the laptop is on. But basically, we have nothing on the screen. No backlight, no anything. So, what can be the problem? Let's unplug the charger. Let's take out the battery. You know, on display thing, you have to master the conditions which can cause the laptop not to display. Like we have the RAM, we have the BIOS, we do have the GPU. If we have a 40 GPU, the laptop won't display. And uh, it can be a frozen BIOS or a frozen SIO chip. So let's check some things. I'll plug the charger. And obviously, if we don't have display, there's no need to check for the power issue. I believe you can just check, but I'm sure all the voltages are fine. 19 volts on the charging port. On any power supply, 19.5. Zero, zero. We have the controller. Three point twenty-six on the ENE chip. So you see, the three point three volts is present. The five, the nineteen volts is present, but the laptop is not displaying. Let's reset the BIOS. Let's reset the BIOS. That's the first thing that we can do. Let's reset the BIOS battery. Let's plug back the BIOS battery. What else we can do? Let's take out the RAM memory. Let's plug back the RAM memory. Let's plug in the charger. We do have, you can see the light here. Let's try to power on the laptop. Let's try to power on the laptop. On. We have this light, the laptop is on. You can see this light. 
we reset the BIOS, so we have to wait if this problem has anything to do with the with the frozen BIOS or something like. Yeah, the board is too on. Let's check some board. Why is the laptop is too on? I'll check for the voltages on coils. You can't see, obviously. 3.3 5 volts. What about RAM? Voltage on the RAM? 1.32. Oh, there's no need to do further checking. This RAM is made hot. You see this RAM? is made hot. So, yeah, the laptop is still on. But this RAM is, is very hot. So, that's clearly explain why the laptop is not displaying. So, we have two issues here. But no, we don't have two issues because I checked here we have 1.52 volts, which means the RAM power supply is working fine. But this RAM is getting very hot. It means we can't check other things. We have a 40 RAM. Let me look for another RAM and test the laptop. I found some, some RAM here. I found other RAM. The original RAM is this one. Let's test with a different RAM. Because if the RAM is getting hot and the RAM power supply is good, it's one way. It's one way we have a 40 RAM. Let's power on the laptop with a different RAM. On, it's now on. You can see here the light. We reset the BIOS. What did I told you? It's working. It's working. CMOS, the CMOS checksum is invalid. The CMOS, what, 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 what? enter to 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 reboot the system it's working so we have a 40 ram hp preparing automatic repair so there's no need to to, to keep you on this video that was a 40 ram so this ram is faulty is fault so yeah that rem is fault let me see ddr3 2 gig rem this is a fault rem so i'll stop this video now like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell like our videos you know uh, I don't understand people they come to the channel they watch videos they just leave without even leaving a comment or a like or even to subscribe uh, on my side I, I feel like you'll be stealing because if you pass by someone's resident or someone's territory at least you have to say something be it good comment or bad comment, we do appreciate everything. So, yeah, it's, it's still trying to, to reload the windows. Still trying to reload the windows. I couldn't expect like a simple fault on this kind of motherboard. Well, this is some kind of motherboard where the processor is soldered on the motherboard it's like the pch the gpu all in one chip 
the chances of uh, that board not to be repairable is very high. I found a lot of this laptop. You find them not display. You change the RAM. You you reprogram the BIOS chip. Still not display. In most cases, the GPU is dying quickly. So, yeah, these are trying to to reload the the, the windows. The mouse is working, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure the problem is solved here. I'm sure the problem is solved. Let's just wait. So the laptop is working fine, as you can see. The touchpad is working. The, the keyboard is responding, though the laptop is slow. Probably there is some window, Windows issue, but everything is working fine here. So I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And. See you on the next one. Bye.